Okay, Steve here again from Open Flight Solutions with uh, another quick demo on things you can do with, uh, with Flight View. In this case, we've got Flight View connected up to two comm radios. One is the uh, uh, Garmin SL40 that you see right over there. And the other is a uh, blind mount valve, which is uh, sort of stuck back behind the panel. Uh, the SL40 is COM1 and the valve is COM2. And so just to show you how easy it is to tune radio frequencies with this, I'm going to tap here and you can see we're looking right now at uh, uh, 121.300 and that is uh, the NorCal departure frequency here at Reed Hillview. If we want to switch over to ATIS, reach up, tap ATIS. ready to, uh, to get a hold of ground and find out, you know, if we can get out of here. Go ahead and tap over there. And then if uh, we're ready to go to tower, just tap to tower. So that is just how easy it is if you've got integrated comm radios. And to let you know, these uh, integrate with pretty much any version of uh, a radio that supports the, the SL40 protocol. The VAL has its own slightly different flavor because it, uh, it adds in a couple of extra commands. But you know, it's still the same basic sort of NMEA-based protocol. So if it does SL40, you know, we can probably talk to it. If it doesn't, we might even be able to talk to it if we you know, do a little bit of additional development. So if you've got some other radio that has an SR, uh, pardon me, RS-232 interface, let us know and we'll see what we can do. Thanks.